Hi, this is going to be a love reading for who should we do next? Hmm. Let's do Virgo. Hi, Virgo. All right, so we are going to do your love reading. Um, if you are a new subscriber and you find this video, then welcome to my channel. All of my readings are timeless, so whenever you find this video, it's for you. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. All right, so I have my Oceanic Tarot. I have my spirit message, spirit, I'm sorry, spirit deck that I created using a Marilyn Monroe um, card deck. I have the Who Oracle. I have uh, Romance Angels. Bodhi Tarot heart-shaped deck. What else? I think that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're done. Okay. So why don't we start out with the Bodhi Tarot for you and see what you got going on, Virgo. Okay. I hope my beautiful earth signs are doing well. I know there's been a lot of drama, drama, drama. Oh, <laughs> it's on tied. I know there's been a lot of drama with Virgo lately, at least on my channel. There has been a lot of fear showing up. It's like this feeling of being ready to fall in love, but then be backtracking and being like, no, I'm not. So that was kind of funny. Shows up every month for Virgos. Okay, this deck is really hard to shuffle. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. What do we got for Virgo? We are reading now for Virgo. Your love life has been complicated, <laughs> I'll say. All for very good reasons. You must learn these lessons to attract the love you deserve. Okay, hold on. Ooh, awesome, good stuff. One more please for Virgo. Good Lord, I need to rethink this deck, <laughs> the hearts are too hard to shuffle. Okay, so this one says your love life has been complicated, all for very good reasons. You must learn these lessons to attract the love that you deserve. The second card they came out says, watch out for people that don't add to your life. They are dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. This card also just came out for Scorpio. So your love life has been complicated and it's because spirit is trying to align you to what you deserve. You deserve so much better than what you have been allowing yourself to get entangled with Virgo. Okay. You had to learn a lot of lessons so that you could get where you needed to be. Um, and as far as your love life and your self love. Okay. And there's also people surrounding you right now that don't deserve to be there and you know who they are. Their energy is draining you. They're um, not on your same level of alignment and vibrationally, they're just not a match. Okay, so it says you don't deserve this. You deserve much more. So it's time to cut those negative people out of your life and to let them go with love. Okay, we have new connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you or entering your life. See, you can't make it up. As soon as you cut ties with these people that are not aligned to you and to your highest good energy, then these new relationships that are more aligned to your new beautiful vibrational frequency are going to come into your life, Virgo. So do not be afraid to sever those ties. Okay. We have your heart chakra is unbalanced. You may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. Use this time to surround yourself with people that uplift you. So if you've been feeling a little down or a little unloved or a little unhappy, a little bit heartbroken, maybe something happened and it didn't um, go how you expected it to go. Maybe you were in love with someone and they didn't feel the same way. Whatever the case, um, it has caused an, uh, an, uh, an un imbalance in your heart chakra. And so that needs to be healed before you can move forward in, in any type of love situation so i would give yourself time to heal my beautiful virgos allow yourself to feel the feelings and focus on healing your heart chakra 
You are so loved and you are not alone. Okay, so we're going to do, let's see, what should we do now? Um, why don't we jump into your spirit deck and see what spirit messages are kind of come out for you, okay? My beautiful Virgos. What do we got for Virgo, okay? Ready now for Virgo spirit? What do we got for Virgo? What do our beautiful earth signs need to know? What do our Virgos need to know? More cards, please, spirit. Thank you for allowing me to the clear channel for source messages from my beautiful Virgos. We have light hair. So this could be your energy or it could be someone that you're seeing right now or someone that's going to come into your energy field that has light hair. Now by light hair, that could be blonde, that could be light brown. Any hair that is lighter shade. Okay, can we get three more please, sir? Green eyes, beautiful. Okay. So your person could possibly have green eyes or maybe you have green eyes. Feels very much like your person though. Curly hair. <laughs> so not just is their hair is not just light, but it's also curly and green eyes. Beautiful, beautiful traits. Seduction. Ooh, we. All right. That speaks for itself. We have light hair. We have green eyes. Curly hair. And we have seduction. So seems like after you focus on that beautiful heart chakra and you allow yourself to heal there is some beautiful energy coming in of seduction with a green-eyed light-haired curly-haired <laughs> person i mean those could be your traits too some of them the thing is like a lot of times when i do these love readings your energy and your person's energy will be so entangled and so entwined that a lot of the traits will be either yours or theirs um, you know, physical traits, um, emotional traits, whatever. You guys are so connected at the soul level as most people are with their twin soul or their soulmate or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. The label doesn't matter. But the person that you feel the deepest connection with, your heart and your soul will be so intertwined with them that you, you know, sometimes the energies will just blend and you can't really tell each other's energy apart. Okay, so we're going to do tarot for you, and then we're going to do the Who Oracle, and we're going to call it a reading. So we're going to do eight cards from the Oceanic Tarot for my beautiful Virgo. What does our Virgo need to know? Our beautiful Earth signs. Let's see what's Virgo's going on. Eight cards for Virgo, please, Spirit. Thank you. This has been a beautiful reading. I hope it has given you some clarity, Virgos. And like I said, if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, know that whenever you find this reading, it's for you, okay? All of my readings are timeless. Ooh. Should we take that one? It wanted to come out, but it didn't. So I'll leave it as a side energy. We have two of swords, crossroads. There's some decision you've been mulling over in your mind, um... Virgo and I don't know what it is the fool new beginnings so you're looking to dive headlong into some type of new beginning and it's common that's weird something wanted to come out but it didn't okay your energy always feels very stuck and stagnant I think you guys need to do some more movement or something some maybe some yoga or some um, Shakti energy, <clears throat> some dancing will get that energy flowing. The energy feels very sticky all the time when I do your readings. <clears throat> this one came out as a side energy. We'll keep it to its four of cups boredom. So if you're bored in your love life, time to shake it up. So I see here, Virgo, that you have been doing a lot of self introspection. You've been trying to figure out um, who you are going deep down into the depths of your soul to discover what it is that makes you tick trying to remember who you are at the soul level 
I need more room here. My kids just made a mess of my work table, and it's very frustrating, y'all. It really is. <laughs> Five of Cups, Sadness. Wow. So we have Six of Swords, Calm, and then we have Five of Cups, Sadness. So there's something that you put in the past that it made you really sad to do it. It was almost like you didn't want to move forward from this thing, but you had to shelve it. You had to. Because in order to find this new beginning, you really had to put it in the past and leave it there. And at first, you felt like it was the right thing to do, and you were very um, grounded about doing it and, and sort of calm. But then now you, you question if it was the right decision because there is a lot of pain still centered around this whatever it is you left behind okay so judgment is about learning from your past the six of swords shows me you do want to leave the past behind and the judgment card is is about learning from the past and moving forward but at this point i i'm not sure if i see you actually moving forward if you want to oh shoot if you want to claim this new beginning then you're going to have to make some moves to put the past behind you, Virgo. We have the tower. And we have hope, the star. You have, wow, Virgo, one, two, three. You have four major arcanas right here. So there's so many beautiful things and so many beautiful, there's a lot of beautiful energy here. I think you just need to figure out your path. We got two we got two again. We have two of wands, two of swords, remember? So there's a lot of twos. This energy of trying to choose your path. One more. Four of swords, recovery. We got two twos and we got two fours. Balancing healing, resting. Doing what Virgos do, which is going into hermit mode. I was really hoping that this month would be your guys' month to sort of branch out and actually experience love. And yet there's still an energy of great sadness about things that happened in your love life. And it feels very heavy. feel like we're gonna have to do an extended on this like okay so we had the fool which is a new beginning really really wanting to come in there is that moment of wanting to dive into something like I'm sorry I'm really excited but this energy of you just wanting to dive in to experience life and love and all of these good things yet the you know there's the side energy of boredom four of cups like wanting to experience new things Four of Cups is about, is, is you know, Cups is, is love, energy, it's emotions. So you want to experience new things in regards to your love. If you want to experience passion, you want to experience love, yet there's this energy still of something holding you back in your past, okay? We have these two cards which came out back to back. We have Self-Reflection and we have this one, which is Six of Swords, Calm. So... There's an energy of Six of Swords is, you know, wanting to move on, getting in that boat and wanting to go forward. It's looking back at the past, but still feeling like, yes, I can move forward, right? It's a period of like deep calm and when things sort of even out in your life and you sort of learn these beautiful lessons of like what happened in the past had to happen so I could learn lessons so I could be my best self so that I can welcome love in, right? But this card came out, which is, this card came out next after that, which is sadness, five of cups. So it's this energy of not wanting to leave the past where it's at. And for some reason, we got uh, two of swords, crossroads, 
And again, we have another two, two of wands vision. So I see you mulling something over in your head, trying to make a decision in regards to your love life as to whether you want to leave the past in the past or whether you want to move forward. Now, if you remain stuck in this energy, I can tell you right now, the card that came out after sadness is this. This is the tower. This is, it literally says destruction. This is the universe intervening on your behalf and they're going to make a huge ripple effect. They're going to force you to make a decision one way or another. They're saying, you know, what vision do you have of your love life? What decision do you have to make in order to experience these things? Like, are you going to move forward? Are you going to stay in the past? Have you learned your lessons? After the tower, though, we have this, which is hope. This is the energy of applying yourself, applying the lessons, applying your energy to healing your heart so that you can experience all of these beautiful things, so that you can experience this, your new beginning, your calm, your self-acceptance, which is, you know, coming from the judgment card. It's learning your lessons so that you can move forward into where you need to be which is this energy right here manifesting and creating what you want so that you can be in this energy of rest and relaxation and accepting and flow state the four of swords is about meditating um, healing recovering so i see that you're well on your way it seems like this past year and, you know, the year before has been really rough on you, Virgo. But I believe if you continue on your healing journey, that soon you will be ready to accept love. And you know what? All you have to do, you don't even have to prepare yourself and be ready. You're ready now. Just open your heart and say, I'm open to love. And that's all you have to do, you know. Let the universe love you. It doesn't even have to be love from a divine partner. Let Source God love you. You know, love yourself. Those are the things that need to be healed. You are eternally loved anyways. All of, There's love all around you every day and every moment. Coming from you, coming for you at all angles. You just have to be open to accept it. And then you'll see it everywhere. I promise you. Okay. You'll even see it out in nature. You'll see birds everywhere. Loving on each other. Birds in pairs and... You know, flowers will whisper sweet nothings to you, I promise. Okay, so four cards to wrap up Virgo's reading. This has been a beautiful reading. Very good. All right, four cards. Whoa, that one flew out. Should we take it or not? All right, we'll take it. It says mysterious. <laughs> so for some of you, you're probably dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpios are famous for being mysterious. Ooh, narcissistic. So this is either your energy or your partner's energy. So we have mysterious. It could be someone wearing a false mask as well. Two more cards for Virgo, please. One last card for Virgo. Oh, we're not going to take that one because I don't know. Didn't come out right. Confidence. Okay, so we have narcissistic. Now, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. It could mean a lot of different things. You could have narcissistic people around you that are um, blocking your path to love. Take it how it resonates. Um, Spirit told me to say that, so I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure that you'll know. Now, this could be anyone. It could be family members around you that are blocking your path to love, cock blocking. Um, <laughs> this could be... You've had a lot of past experiences with narcissistic people. Therefore, you know exactly how to heal that trigger and it's in your energy field. So be careful because you have that. Even if you've had lessons and experiences with people who are narcissistic, that will still remain in your energetic field and it'll still draw narcissistic people to you. So please be careful to make sure you clean your auric field regularly so that you don't draw these people right back into you virgo i know because i dated a lot of narcissistic narcissistic people and 
I always seemed to draw in more narcissistic people that were attracted to me and wanted to date me. So I had to make sure that I healed that wound for me and also to clean it out of my energetic field so that it didn't draw them in like magnets again. You know, your aura and your energy field carries blueprints of things that you have experienced. And if that little narcissistic energy bubble is just chilling, then it's going to go and it's going to suck more narcissistic people in into you. And the more people who have been narcissistic in and out of your life, the more the energy bubble sort of grows stronger. OK, so just be aware of that. Okay, and then we also have down to earth. So this could be your energy, your person's energy. Very down to earth, very grounded. They could be a possible earth sign like you. All right, and then we have confidence. So your person is very self-confident or you're very self-confident. Um, either way, you know, your guys' energy fields are very, you know, sort of intertwined. So those are some character traits to look for. Singles, you could be looking for these character traits in your person or, you know, if you're dealing with someone right now and you're seeing these character traits, that's a good sign that you're on the right track and this could be your person. It was just 2112 on my camera phone. All right, that's all I got for you, Virgo. Thank you for all of you who have joined me on Patreon, who shared my videos, who've subscribed. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. It's amazing, you guys. <laughs> it only took me two years a year. <laughs> but I appreciate every single positive step in the right direction. You know, um, even when I get to 500, it's going to blow my mind because I'll be halfway to 1,000, which is incredible. Like, you know, my main goal is just to at least get to 500. So that way I can use the community tab. Ah! So thank you guys. Just thank you. I can't do this without you guys, without you guys watching me and being entertained by me. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, Virgo, all you got to do is click on the little arrow and my description box will pop up. Check out my son's channel. He's the only featured channel that I have. I'm going to have new items in my Etsy shop pretty soon. If you want to join me on Patreon, that link is always in my description box. And there's two ways you can tip me. I appreciate it. This is my only job. You guys are my bread and butter. I love you all so much. Um, I have PayPal and I also have, what else? Cash app. So I appreciate every single tip. I love you guys so much. Bye Virgo.